What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for your WWE SmackDown Live review for July 25th, 2017. You know, it seems like WWE really just heard everybody gripe and complain about Battleground and how bad of a show it was and how much SmackDown is tanking as far as the product compared to what it used to be. Because Presto Changeo out comes Chris Jericho and all his friends tonight trying to make the WWE Universe happy. And he got a huge pop. Absolutely. They are giving us a huge matchup next week. Shinsuke Nakamura versus John Cena. We're going to be going over that as well. Happy and not happy with that decision. All that plus more on this review. First off, the opening segment. Kevin Owens comes out and talking about how he has such a great heart. His heart's so pure. It, it, it's so awesome and that he has the United States Championship again. You know, and so what he's going to do with it and how he's going to bring back the open challenge next week because he's not going to defend the United States Championship in front of a bunch of hicks. Next thing we know, AJ Styles comes out and he says he wants his rematch inside that squared circle. Kevin Owens says, did you not just hear me? I am not defending my United States Championship tonight. Next thing you know, Chris Jericho. Absolutely, everybody popped. It was electric. That arena was electric for his return. It was yelling. Kevin Owens telling him to be quiet, 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 quiet. They both, AJ and Chris Jericho, have rematch clauses for the U.S. Championship. Finally, Shane McMahon came out and made the triple threat matchup in the main event. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. The rematch from Battleground. Better matchup than we saw at Battleground. Shinsuke Nakamura actually went over here, thankfully, you know, a lot better than what he did at Battleground. He won by the Shinkashka kick, not by disqualification. Was happy with that. But why do we have to see a rematch? I mean, honestly, WWE continues to do this after every single pay-per-view. Why? No sense in it. Charlotte versus Tamina and Lana. And Charlotte has a tag team partner, Becky Lynch. This tag team matchup, eh, it was a pretty good match. But the biggest thing that's coming out of this is this relationship. Between Tamina and Lana is going down the hill fast. Absolutely. Lana tags herself in, and the second she does, one huge big boot by Charlotte, and one, two, three, the match is over. I mean, really, the match was done. Flat. She was flat, just flattened all over the map. Tamina, 
just throwing a fit on the outside because of Lana tagging herself in when Tamina didn't go for the tag. That was it. Aiden English having his little song in the ring. He teamed up with Mike Kanellis and they faced 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Ty Dillinger and everybody's favorite taxi driver. Na, 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 na. Sami Zayn. This contest. Average tag team encounter and 50 50 booking. Really, I mean, for Aiden English and Ty Dillinger because Ty Dillinger picks up the victory here. Sami Zayn wins as well. However, Mike Kanellis has another loss in his column. Now, under the tag team column, WWE, you are burying this guy. Stupid. Three matches in the WWE and two of the three are losses. This is dumb. Absolutely dumb. How are you supposed to build up a star if you do crap like this? One of the biggest things that happened tonight, though, was Jinder Mahal. The modern day Marasha coming out and he wants to know who his next opponent will be for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam, the biggest party of the summer, biggest event, hottest ticket, whatever WWE is going to call it now. And comes out, he talks about how he decimated, he crushed Randy Orton's legacy and left it in, just in the middle of the ring, in the middle of the Pujambi prison, thanks to the great Kali. But... John Cena. Had other news for him. Comes out and he says, Look. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Because Jenny Mahal was going to go on and he said, I know exactly what you're going to say. You're 16-time world champion. You had to have all, I have to have all this help from the same brothers, Greg Conley, blah, 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 blah. You're in the modern-day mirage, Jinder Mahal. But you are one horrible mind reader. Now, this is where WWE really sucks. Because they are giving away Shinsuke Nakamura and John Cena on at SmackDown next week. Great to see it at SmackDown, but however, why? That is such a, a pay-per-view worthy matchup. You're doing it to, to, to get a cheap to the pop a good rating. That's it. That's it. You're doing it to pop a good rating. So, that's merely 
what that whole segment was about because Daniel Bryan came out and stated who the next opponent was going to be and John Cena does not get to make matches. Chris Jericho, AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens in the main event. Fantastic match. Awesome main event contest. And these guys went back and forth. Just move after move. At the very end of this contest, you know, so many times it looked like Jericho was going to make AJ Styles tap out, Kevin Owens tap out. It looked like Kevin Owens was going to have Chris Jericho pinned with as many times he hit the pop-up powerbomb. AJ Styles hitting his moves and people kicking out of him. But in the end, Kevin Owens hitting a big splash. AJ Styles throwing Owens off of Chris Jericho. One, two, three. Flip-flopping the United States Championship again. The phenomenal AJ Styles. A two-time United States Champion on SmackDown Live. Pretty good show. Shot being a pretty good rating, I'm sure, for WWE. And that's what they're doing next week by having Shinsuke Nakamura and John Cena. You all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Twitter and Facebook at 2007Webby. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you.